and welcome to iOS Softbox Objective-C. Uh, my name is Tiago Leoncio. I am uh, returning for our channel that we have uh, for iOS development. So today I'm going to uh, talk to you, discuss about the blocks feature that we have in Objective-C. So basically, uh, blocks are, are features, are language level features that we were added since uh, C and C++ and of course Objective-C and it allows us to create a distinct segment of code. Uh, what that means? Basically, uh, I can just represent a single task or a unit behavior rather than uh, a collection of methods in such a way. So basically, uh, sorry, if you... Um, blocks are very, very important because you can create a block and then you can add into a collection. Uh, in Objective-C, such as NSArray or NSDictionary. That will be part of the uh, scope of that uh, uh, logic that you are developing. So basically, uh, the segment how to write blocks is just like that. It's an anonymous block like this. But I would like to show you guys a, a, a great sample of a block that you will see uh, 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 output from that. So basically, let me write for you guys, uh, for example, a, a void block. Uh, so let's say uh, the block will call Tiago um, Leoncio block. And this is a void, so it's not, it's not returning anything. Void. And here I'm a slug. Um, at hello. After. Why do I need to run? Oh, of course. I, I, this is the way that we write blocks, but we need to call the block, right? Even if it's the void uh, block, we, we need to call it. So just call passing nothing, and we're not giving anything through the parents. That's the main difference from the block that will be returning, that I will explain uh, later. So basically, if you see, okay, uh, you can see below. Hello, Arthur, how are you? This is the example of the void block that I just created. And of course, if you are adding, for example, the next example that I'm going to show you guys, for example, an integer block, um, you can get this uh, return that we are going to write here uh, into a, a NSArray content, for example. Um, let me give an example of an integer block that needs to have a return. So let's say that this one will be integer block. And of course, we need to have int and int. I will pass num as a value to the variable that I'm going to treat here. And I need to return, of course, I need to return. And I will multiply by 2 this number that I'm getting. Okay, int. Blah, blah blah and this of course so if i call uh this block this integer zero block i need to give some number okay so for example 98 okay so this is the way that we have uh, inter, uh integer block so in another video i'm going to show you more um, uh, uh, some more examples on on the features that we have for creating a block that depends on the class and adding the content of the class, um, the content of the block into the NAS array or an NAS dictionary or any other collection. So remember, that's very important. Um, it's a single task uh, and a un or, or you can say that's a unit behavior. That's the purpose of block. It's not a method itself, but looks like a method. So basically, you can get this content and add in somewhere else. 
process. So that's the beauty of the block. So thank you for joining me. Uh, I hope this helps. And if you uh, like it, please uh, uh, join my channel of Objective-C. I'm going to show you more, much more on the Objective-C coding. Thank you. Happy coding.